In this video, I am going to give you every single successful overcome we have for the three primary objections that are come, gonna come up, which is a stall, which is like, hey, I need to think about it, decision maker objection and price value objection. And so these are all successful overcomes that we have used here at Gym Launch, we taught our clients to use that have resulted in over $500 million in fitness contracts sold. That's half a billion, yes, and us leading to over $100 million in sales over the last six years. And I hope you find this valuable. My name is Kellen. I'm the CEO here at Gym Launch and Prestige Labs. My goal here is to help you ultimately change more lives, reach more people, and stack cash. So if you struggle making sales, let's walk through this. There's a lot to dive into here, and I want to make sure I cover this. If you like this and you want the actual written overcomes and you want to see this, you can download this by hitting the link down in the description. Download it for free. Trade us your email. We'll send it over. Promise we won't spam you, and you get this. And if you like stuff like this, hit that subscribe button. Let's do this. Okay, so these are all the ones that we have used successfully to overcome any sales objection. The ones in black. Alex Ramosi came up with these. We came up with these internally. And then the ones in blue are ones that we like or have come from like friends or research. Now, there are only three objections people use to avoid buying, right? So there's delay, decision maker, and price or slash money, okay? Any other issues are just gonna be a form of the three. And it's just a matter of making sure that we overcome those. So let's hit the delay first. If you've ever heard someone say, I have to think about it as a prospect, right? They're basically just trying to delay. And to overcome that, you need to force them to basically make a decision. What's really important about this and for you to understand this is that decisions happen in an instant. They can make a decision right away. And so the goal is all you need to do is make them understand the benefit of them making that decision and not putting it off. Putting it off is still a decision. So you might say something like this. You've been thinking about doing this for years. How is an extra day going to help? Or you're always going to be busy. Or saying no would be a step in the wrong direction, wouldn't it? What does that say about you if you walk out that door? Another one would be you've wanted this for so long and you finally have the gonads to walk in the door and it takes a lot of gonads to do that. If you say no now, after not having been to the gym in three years, what does that ultimately say? How likely is that you're gonna actually be able to achieve your goals. Most people are afraid of making a mistake. This is why they typically do a delay. This is why they see it. So you can help them basically consider the options. Let's look at the options if you don't join today. Another one would be, let's look at the risks involved. You could try X, Y, and Z and still fail like you've done in the past. Or you could give me money and maybe you don't lose any weight, but we have a money back guarantee to remove all of that risk. Cool. So really what you're trying to do is ultimately confront reality when you go through delays because it's not reality. Decisions don't take time. They take information. You're the only person with all that information. Another great example of a delay close would be to say something like this on a scale of one to 10, how big of a priority is this? What would get you to a 10 in order to make this decision today? That's another one. And then the other one, they'd come back with, well, I'd have to see this and you respond. Cool. We can do that. You ready to sign up? There's lots of different ways that you can do it. Another great delay overcome is what's your biggest fear of signing up? And then they might answer something something like, I'm afraid I'll look stupid in the workout clothes, or I'm afraid I'll look stupid in the workout. And it's like, girl, just wear sweats. I don't care. Wear a blindfold. At the end of the day, you have to go to the gym, right? It doesn't matter, right? You can just brush it off like it's nothing. Another one is, what's your main concern? Then they'll tell you, and then you can go for it. Another one is like, let's say they do this. Let's say they're like, I want to think about it. It's like, cool. How long? Well, I need a day or two to think about it. Okay, cool. Do you want two or three days or two or three months? And they're like, well, I don't need two or three months. And you're gonna be like, obviously. And it's, you just literally come back with this. Exactly. Which means there's no difference between two or three months or two or three days, because ultimately these are the three things you need to make a decision on. That's it, right? So you can go through all those things. Decision maker on this one. This one is the hardest to overcome because they're saying that they are not the person who can make that decision. This one's really frustrating. It's very frustrating, but it can be really hard to get someone to say yes if they don't feel like they have the power to do it. But there's ways to be able to do this. My favorite is really just asking for forgiveness, not permission. And really, this is the best way to do it is, are you, you're thinking that you need to ask for permission, but what you really need to do is be asking for support. So the first thing is like, does your spouse approve of your current situation? And they're gonna be like, no, not really. Okay, well, if they don't approve of your current situ situation, right, why would they be against you doing something to change it? Like, hey, if your spouse is anything like mine, she'd never tell me no um, for the things that I really want. Do you really want this? Okay, cool, let's do this. It's super simple when we go through these processes. The biggest thing that you really wanna do when you nail down the, the decision maker is you need to make sure that the decision maker knows that they're there. They know that they're unhappy with the way that they are, that the decision maker doesn't want them to be unhappy and wants them to be where they're at. And so then it nails down, well, cool, what's the problem? Let's do this. And most of the time it's actually comes down to money, which is, let's get into this. This is the obstacle overcome, which is around price or value. And someone's like, I don't have enough money. So if you get this in the close, it's typically because you haven't presented enough value during the actual presentation. But either way, if it comes up, simple things like we vote with our dollars, right? Where we spend our dollars, we're voting and making a priority in our life, right? And so if you're voting by going out to eat and doing all that stuff, that's a priority and you're not putting yourself first. Another one would be buy nice or buy twice. So have you ever invested? You've invested in three different other programs before and each of them has led you to my doorstep. What if this was the last thing you ever had to invest in. 
Another one would be like, you can pay this today versus paying more tomorrow. Right, you can use this with insurance, especially with people that have health issues and all this stuff. Another one that's simple, it's actually very true, is like, totally understand. Listen, over the next three months, you're going to spend the exact same amount of money anyway. You might as well spend it on improving your health. Right, so there's lots of stuff on here. The last ones are gonna be fitness objections, and I'm actually gonna walk through these real quick with you. These are actual fitness objections that come up, and they're kind of like really super easy to get over. Like, it's things like, um, I'm too old. I have a previous injury. What if I get hurt? What if I don't like the workouts? I don't want to get bulky, all that stuff. These are really simple and very easy, right? So like, what if I fall off the wagon? Well, then you get back on. It's not about being perfect. It's about progress and making sure that we get back up. It happens all the time in life. What would you tell your child? What if I get hurt? Well, you have a better chance of getting hurt trying to work out without professional trainers on your own. Would you say that it's probably better and put you in a better position to work with our trainers who are certified and know exactly how you should be moving? Before you even step on that floor, we're going to make sure that we assess your fitness levels and make appropriate recommendations. Another one, what if I get sore? This is crazy, you guys know this. Soreness happens, right? But we can help you avoid it as much as possible with carefully scaled workouts, as well as the nutrition program that we have and the additional supplements that you can use. I'm too old. This one, it blows my mind. I've actually had someone tell me this. This one's super easy. No one is too old, right? And then the, this is what's great, is if you have a testimonial board, like floor to ceiling testimonials, wall to wall, see it, wall to wall testimonials, you've got it, right? You can literally point at someone, it's like, hey, Patty over there, she's 78 years old, right? If anything, you wanna make your last 30 years the best 30. Let's do it. So all of these are in here. If you wanna get more access to this stuff and you like these types of things, go ahead, download, click the link in the description down below. You can download it for free. Just trade your email for it, we'll send it over. Promise won't spam you. And as always, if you like this, subscribe and um, we'll get more. As later on down the road, we'll talk about more specific objections. We'll get super detailed on them on other videos. But in this playlist, this kind of walks you through the overview of all these different ones that you can use.